Welcome to episode two of how to make a C++ client. In this episode, uh, it's going to be mostly focused on the client structure and how to mix OOP and functional programming. So like, what kind of guy are you? Are you this guy on the left or are you the guy on the right? Just ask yourself that. I know which guy I am. So um, this is the structure that I'm thinking of where some files have OOP, some have functional programming. And this was going to be the control flow where everything goes from main to the modules, click JY, and then, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. You know, I'm just not feeling it with this uh, slideshow today. So this is the module structure is going to be OP, some uh, base class module inheritance, and all the JNI code is going to be stateless. So on the left this is going to be like a example module, like the main one, and then on the right is like the inheritance stuff and. Clear is going to be similar. All right, guys, I made a couple new files, as you can see. Let's open these up. Also, I modified build.bat. I added these two files, main.cpp and functions.h. So let's take a look at main.h first. As you can see, uh, these are all external. This is the Java VM and GNI env, which are declared in here. And notice that they are not initialized. They are only declared. Then there's external void client main. So. Um, I removed the J, uh, MC player jump code, so that's gone. Now instead we just call uh, a new function, client main. Notice that it's uh, declared in here. So this is the function, it has a while true loop. It'll call player jump every 50 milliseconds. Then this is for detaching and this exits uh, the DLL. So about main.h, notice that it's uh, included in here and here and every other file. And this is just the MC player jump code that's now in its own function. They can say and uh, passed in, which allows it to work in any thread. So uh, the idea is to make a bunch of functions in functions.h and functions.cpp and have this all be functional programming. The main.cpp stuff is gonna be just the client main. This has uh, the initialization of the modules and click GUI right here and this is just the main loop that calls everything and then this is the shutdown stuff so like shut down the freedom memory stuff like that so um once again modify your build that bad to add it to new cpp files let's test this out Okay, so now we should be calling player jump every 15 milliseconds. Which seems about right. And as you can see, I'm now flying up because I'm constantly jumping. Now, if we look in here, we'll see. If I press uh, end on my keyboard, I'll break out of the loop and the library will exit. So uh, let's try that. As you can see, I'm no longer jumping, and I can now close this. And since the library has been unloaded, I can re-inject a second time without having to restart the game. So now that we have the soul destruct enabled, uh, implemented, we can uh, uh, inject the library multiple times without having to restart the game every time. All right, so I add some uh, modules and a event manager. So this is my uh, event manager. I'm just calling client tick from the main loop. As for modules, it's including uh, main.h. This is the base module class of some virtual functions and empty uh, constructor. Then extern vector of uh, modules with a pointer. And here's a basic uh, fly hack example. So yeah, this just uh, calls in it. So all the functions for fly are defined in here. So during the init, it uh, registers itself to listen for events through the on event function. And I, I just haven't like really implemented anything else. This is a very bare bones example. In uh, build.bat, there's uh, modules.cpp and eventbus.cpp that have been added. And uh, yeah, so this is including functions.h. This is including just the main.h stuff. Also main is now including event bus, so that's also available everywhere. So uh, what's happening now is we're making a new module. When the module uh, is ran, it calls init. 
it registers itself to listen for the client tick and this function will be called on event. Then inside of the loop, we call event client tick, which means instead of calling the function directly, we're not even like calling the module, we're just calling some event. And the event manager figures out which module needs to be called and then the module figures out which function needs to be called. So let's try compiling this. Alright, so now when I get into the game, as you can see I'm flying up, it says fly hack event call ram, it's printing this, which means this is being called successfully, and the reason it started running right at the start is because, just as a test, um, I just immediately toggle it, but there's no like way to turn it off yet or anything like that, this is just a very simple example. So now. There's a module system and a event system, and uh, this can be like expanded to just make all the modules and stuff. Well, well, looks like fortune favors the stupid too. Now what? I'm gonna ask for a refund. 